What's up, y'all? This vid's gonna be a bit personal. And it actually does look like I got in a haircut, which I did, but I actually cut it myself. So <laughs> that's literally my first time cutting my own hair. But um, I think I kind of screwed up a little bit. Well, kind of towards the top part of my head, I kind of screwed up a little bit. So, because like I said, it was my first time cutting my own hair. So, you know how people usually pick their hair out and then use scissors to cut it? That's how I did it. It wasn't easy, but, you know, I was, I, I was, I was able to get a few um, decent cuts out of it. And now it looks kind of, looks pretty clean i was not trying to cut myself bald i was not trying to uh yeah there's actually a little bit of a of a, of a of a little bit of a haircut type spot on the top of my head about right here yeah it literally looks like a damn bald spot <laughs> but when i was looking in the mirror there was still some hair there so it doesn't count as it being a bald spot if it was a complete bald spot there would be no hair there so yeah but overall i got a haircut so oh i cut my own hair so yeah but that's besides the point um this vid's gonna be a bit personal because i've been discussing this um recently um and this literally has to do with my bestie trinity as always, I've talked about her a handful or even more than a handful of times on the channel about what she's dealing with in her life. Obviously, as far as, um, well, as far as her mental health goes, you know, she was already dealing with that when she was in school. But now that she's out, you know, she's still kind of dealing with it a bit. Now that she doesn't really have much fun stuff to do like me. I don't have much fun stuff to do either. That's why I did say that somewhere down the line, me and Trinity will go out and have fun. We will. Like I said, it may be it may be a little slow doing that because because you know either due to money or me being able to go to her and and have fun and go out, but it's going to happen. But it's basically just saying that you are not alone. Now, this is for Trinity and Trinity alone. If if some of y'all are going through this as well, then I guess this could include y'all as well. But it's specifically more to her, basically. But you are not alone at all. Because when it comes down to mental health, it is no joke at all. Now, me personally, I don't have no mental issues. I don't. My mental health is completely under control. Like I said, the only uh, the only insecurity I have, um, uh, the only insecurity I have is just sensitivity. Basically, that's pretty much it. If someone was to scream or holler at me in frustration because of a mistake I made or whatever, they would just start screaming and hollering at me instead of calmly talking to me about it. I would literally just run into the other room and just start crying because, not out of sadness, but out of confusion. Because why the hell was they yelling at me because of that one little mishap I did? So yeah, that's the only insecurity I have, but besides that, my mental health is cool. But overall, mental health is literally the main part of your life, though. It really is. Because if you don't have it under control, then yeah, it really is going to take a toll on you completely. And I've been noticing and seeing that. When it comes down to mental health, I think the two biggest ones are depression and stress. Seriously. And those two can really take a toll on you for the worse. Like, seriously. Depression is, like I said, I said this before and I'll say it again. Depression is mainly caused by something deep, emotional, and personal that has happened to you in the past or, or, or in the current life right now. 
that that's how depression is that's how that's how depression is caused whether whether it was something emotional that happened something personal um or anything going on in your life that you was not expected to happen in the first place and it's mainly happening to you or or everyone else around you that you're caring about that is how depression is caused it's like something died within you and it's never coming back and that's what's causing you to feel depressed um you you always feel lonely you always um you always feel worthless or you always think that you have no purpose in life and you just want to be or you just want to go away from it so that's literally how depression is stress is literally is basically a lot of work stress literally is caused by school and work because you have so much to do everything is building up and you feel as if you can't get it all done at one time so so and and by the way even after you graduate school or if you're still in work or doing this or doing that stress can still build up because you still got other personal things to do aside from work related stuff that you have to do all of it is building up and you feel as if you just can't get it done all at once so and that's and that's literally how stress is mainly caused those are the two biggest mental health issues that everyone got and and this is literally for a natural cause depression is not caused personally it is caused it is a natural cause it's not a personal cause well actually depression is a natural and a personal cause um and stress is also a natural and a personal cause so pretty much i can't think of any health well i can't think of any mental health issue that's only caused naturally i have no clue but those are the main two and and frankly trinity you're going through that right now even after you graduate school you're still dealing with it somehow you know like you still feel as if like what is the purpose of your life right now you still think that nothing fun is going on you're not getting yourself involved into anything that's going to make you smile that's going to make you either love life more or love yourself more and you still feel as if a lot of stuff is still piling up on you and you feel as if that you won't get it done going forward and that's going to end up keeping you back somehow so but overall you are not alone because you have said this um many times because i've watched one of your videos and it basically just uh, you basically explained why you haven't uploaded in a while and i think this video you kind of made it like two and a half years back probably so i think it was that um i'm um, that long ago that you made that video explaining why you haven't uploaded in a while so and that was completely understandable and at the same time you always you always feel as if no one wouldn't understand your story or what you was dealing with back then and what you're dealing with now but you do have people that understand you you got me your parents or whoever else that you know or that you ever have contact with they know your story they know what you've been dealing with and they know what you're dealing with now so it's not like it's not like um you don't have no one to rely on or to talk to about your issues because you do they are sitting right there or they're either a phone call away like me or a text away like me again or or anyone else you have contact with you know they're right there if you ever want to talk just go just go to them and just talk 
because eventually that's 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 literally what's gonna help you you know get the help that you need so it is like it is what it is like i said this before but i'm trying to say it in the most descriptive way as possible but i think i might have to look it up on google and i'll definitely do like an updated video going in depth on this topic so but hey but overall you are not alone now you have said that you want to make a new friend you didn't say you didn't say make new friends you just said make a new friend or have another friend alongside with me and that's cool like in life you don't necessarily need to have your friend circle big because everyone would rather have their friend circles completely big and just full of people that you want to hang out with or talk to but it does not work that way your friend circle cannot be big because if there are people within that circle that you do not talk to or do not hang out with or do not call or text often or if they don't have any sort of contact with you then immediately cut them off because they're not going to be much use for you in your life anyway so that's what's going to definitely bring down your friend circle completely because you're looking at these other people that you met in the past that you wanted to be friends with but all these days weeks months years or whatever they have not gotten in contact with you whatsoever and and so have you you haven't contacted them either so immediately cut those people off the main people that you do have contact with is either the close friends that you have the best friends that you have or your family that is it but but in your case you only have me as a friend or as a best friend that's pretty much it and i asked you before if you had any other friends on social media or anywhere in real life that you go to or talk to and you said no so that really makes me your only friend slash best friend so and I can kind of understand why you want at least one other friend because you want that other friend to give you the same amount of support, love, and comfort like I'm giving you, including your parents. And I get that completely. And I do want to help you find that other person. You even told me that you want that other person to be another girl. And I I definitely want to help you find that other um that other lady friend i will definitely help you i even said this in a video on how you can start conversations on making new friends or on to making a new friend so i don't know if you watched that video so if 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 you want to watch it go right ahead or unless if you want me to come to you in person and explain it to you more thoroughly if i could then hell yeah, I'll do that for you. But until that time comes, I'm only getting in contact with you through social media, mainly on Snapchat, but that's pretty much it. You still have Facebook, but you're not really on there at all, unless if I was to tag you in a post and you used to react to it, but that's pretty much it. You don't really post anything else on there. But you mainly have me on Snapchat, so that's my main contact with you from now on until I do get to see you in person again. Because the last time I seen you in person was back when I used to visit the school. Yeah, my school, Cash, Community Academy, Science and Health, for those of y'all who don't know, that was the school I went to. And ever since I graduated, I will always visit because, because you know i would just want to visit back and the main person that i wanted to see 
was Trinity. She was the only person I wanted to see. I didn't want to see no one else. Of course, yeah, I had my other guys that I went to school with, but I wasn't really deep or close friends with them. So, but the main person I would go to visit is Trinity every freaking day that I would visit the school. Well, almost every day. She would be the only person I would want to see. That's pretty much it. So, so uh, yeah. Overall, Trinity, you are not alone. You're not. I do want to help you get your life back on track, and I do. I do. I'm not making this up because if I was, I would have never uploaded this. Seriously. I'm being completely straight up with you. I want to help you feel so much more better, feel so much more comfortable with your life. You know, be able to do this, do that, be happy, be satisfied, be amused. You know, make that other friend of yours that you want to make. I want to help you make that friend. And, and that's pretty much it. I want to help you get your life on track. I really do. Of course, yeah, you have your mom and dad. And I really do hope you are getting help from them too. Because they are there for you too. Not just me. Because like I said, they've been with you from the start since you were born. So yeah, of course they're going to be with you um, all day, every day, 24-7. 365 days a year damn fly but yeah but I'm always there for you too so but I really do hope you're also going to them for help as well so definitely because when it comes down to parents they want to make sure that you stay happy they want you to to enjoy life to the fullest all of that they want you to be comfortable do everything you always wanted to do all of that I understand that it's slow. I understand that it's really slow, but it's getting there. You just need you just need a little bit of a boost. You just need a little bit more motivation. You need a bit more confidence. You need a bit more encouragement. And I'm willing to give you that. So again, you're not alone. I want to help you the best I can with your mental health. I want to help you the best way I can to get your life straight so that way you can go out there and be that person you want to be or go out, have fun, or or me and you going out and potentially finding that other friend that you want to make and stuff like that. We are going to do that. But until then, it is a slow start towards that goal but we are getting there until then i definitely got you you're not alone here so everyone else is going through shit like this too you are not the only person everyone in life goes through shit like this and yeah it ain't funny it ain't no joke it ain't no damn game it's real life this is a natural and a personal cause so so until then i definitely got you but the main contact i have with you for now is either facebook or snapchat that's pretty much it that's my main contact with you for now on until i do get to see you in person and then we'll definitely help you get your life straight the way you want it to be and i promise you that point blank but, yeah, that's all I got for you. You know, if any of y'all are going through the same shit as well, then y'all can consider this advice to y'all as well. But this is mainly to Trinity, if she is watching this, like, if you're watching this. But, again, if any of y'all are going through this, then y'all can take it as well. But, hey, it is what it is. But hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like it up. Um, subscribe if y'all are new and um yeah i'll see y'all in the next one all right